everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be painting on these earbuds. They're basically knockoff AirPods, um, but they work just as well as normal AirPods, so they're fine for me. They look just like normal AirPods as well. I'm going to be painting this with nail polish because it's super convenient and the small brush will be easy to get around everything and um, it's the same color that's on my nails as you can see. I'm going to tape off a few areas. I'm going to tape off the charging hole at the bottom and I'm going to tape off the little button on the back. I'm debating about taping off the silver hinge because I want to keep that silver but I'm confident that I can work around it. I end up not taping that off. In fact, taping it is completely useless because I end up just going around with the brush instead of using the tape, um, but oh well. So I'm going to go get tape. So here's my tape, and now I'm bringing in a cutting board. Not like a food cutting board, but like, I don't know how to explain it. And I'm bringing in a knife, and I'm just going to take a strip of tape off and... I'm going to try to use the knife to cut a little, like, shape for the button on the back. The knife ends up not being sharp enough to cut the tape, so I end up having to use scissors. Okay, I have some scissors, and now I'm just cutting a circle um, out for the button and then I cut like an oval for the charging hole. The reason why the tape ends up being useless is because the nail polish was a lot more opaque than I than it was on my nails. So it ended up being super noticeable that that area was not painted. So I end up just taking it off and like painting around it very carefully. Um but so this was a total waste of time. But it's fine because the end result is really cool and this only took like an extra five minutes. Okay, so now I can come in with my nail polish and I'm going to take out the earbuds themselves so that I don't get any paint on them. And I'm going to start adding the first layer. Okay, so now we're skipping forward, well, in a sec, we're going to skip forward to many days later when I have, like, about 10 coats of paint on all the sides. Okay, so here it is. I think it looks really cool, pretty shiny, and um, the button still works even though I painted over it, so that's great. Now I'm going to add this pretty silver glitter over all of it. As you can see, the brush, like, detached from the handle, so what I normally do is I just take it out with my fingernails and then screw the lid back on. And then unscrew it again, and normally that will fix the problem. So I'm just going to add a nice thick layer of this onto everything to make it even more shiny. And then I will add a clear coat, and then it'll be done. Okay, so here's the final result. I think it looks really, really cool. It's definitely very shiny. Um, it looks much better than before, and I'm really proud of it, even though it is super basic. So I love it, and I think it's super unique, and I will definitely use these. 